Yes. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Dion Denise, back again with another video. In today's video, I have to you all another unboxing. I picked up a Ruslan Baginski hat, also known as the Bad Hat. If you're interested in my review as well as my sizing, sit back, relax, and as always, we're going to get right into it. Love yours. y'all i want to say thank you so much for coming back to my channel as i previously stated my name is danielle denise i do a lot of try on hauls fashion content mommy and me stuff vlogs product reviews unboxing if that sounds like stuff you're interested in we will be a great fit come join the gang come join the crew we on the road to 2k so run it up run it up run it up like this video subscribe on this video be all of that be gang i'm telling you it's a vibe you're gonna love it over here i promise okay as i stated i just did a pickup you know what's so funny? When these hats first dropped, I been wanted it. Been wanted it, been wanted it. But for whatever reason, I don't know why, I just never got around to purchasing it. I just was stuck on it, so I just never got around to it. Finally, I gave in because Farfetch was having a nice little sale. They was having a nice little amount of a percentage for when orders that qualified for it. So I said, you know what? Let me take advantage of it. Let me know if you feel like this. Instagram be the devil because, you know, it's like connected with all your stuff that you're looking at on your phone. So if you've really been having your mind on something and you be trying to like kind of talk yourself out of it or not really uh, jump right in buying it right then and there it's like it'll keep reminding you like this hat remember this hat and then it's like ah i have to get it now so i finally gave in so the box just came like this i was a little mad at this box because look how beat up it came i was like it came like this and it looks like someone been messing with it or something i was like i hope my hat was not stolen because you know people be stealing stuff off the truck so anyways let's go open it it just says far fetch far fetch far fetch okay and then we have the hat so it comes like this it comes like this so let's just open it up first thing first my bag is all jacked up because of the delivery people but they do give you a nice little bag because I guess if you would really have bought this from the store or anything, this is what it would have came in, which makes sense. It probably would have been in here like that. So they give you a nice little Rosalind Baginski bag. So I opted for the black one because I felt like you could never go wrong with black. I really had my eye on the pink one, but I'm not really a pink girl. I'm not really a pink girl, but if I wear pink, it has to be a bright pink. Like, I'm not really into the baby doll pinks and stuff like that. I mean, uh, if the sneaker or the outfit requires it, I will just do it. But off the rip, I'm not really a pink girl. Black, blue, red, nude, those are my thing. So I did opt to get the black hat that had a little bit of red on it. This is the hat. It has the like a patent leather brim. The exterior says wool and the inside is lined with cotton. You have the little red X and then you do have R&B for Ruben Zudinski and a little period. Period. Right off the back, I did get a size medium. I don't know if you knew to this, but I'm true to this. When it comes to reviewing, I ain't gonna just show y'all me wearing it. No, I'm gonna get my tape measure out. We are gonna be measuring some head, some circumference of the hat. I got you covered, sis. I got you. Because if you click on this video, it's because you're undecided on what size you should get. And shorty, I got you. I told you, subscribe. Don't want to miss the beat. Honestly, this was like a whim situation because I have other designer hats. Like, I have a Gucci hat. And I know from prior experience, so I already had an idea. I knew not to touch that small. And I knew not to even dare touch the extra small. I was like, I'm either going to be a medium or a large. And I opted for the medium. And let's see if I got it right. I think I'm going to just leave the paper in here for now. But yeah. I got it right, sis. I got it right. As you see, it fits. It fits. I do like this hat. It's so cute. This is it on. She's pretty. I can't wait to wear this. Let's just see. Let's just get into it really quickly. Let's see. <laughs> ah! Yes. 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 I don't care. This is the bad hat. The bad hat. You a baddie? You need this hat. You need this hat for the winter. You need this hat. You need it. You need it for the fall. You need it for the winter. We getting our wardrobe right. We getting ready because we going to slay. We slaying every season over here. You heard? Every season. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me just get into the detailing one more time. You could take the little stuff out. 
you know what for the sake of this video i'm only gonna take it out right now because i'm not gonna wear it yet which is why i want to keep it in oh yeah see look it even comes out even further in the front so let me go get my measuring tape so we can get into the circumference of the set one more all right sis so if you have a measuring tape get it out okay so first things first we're gonna measure the circumference of the hat now i'm pretty sure the website might have it i don't know teacher's own i got myself far-fetched but i know far-fetched really wasn't helping me when it came to the measuring so i'm literally gonna just put this inside and i'm gonna do it not a, not in the end inside because you would need first your head to pass this part before even getting to this part so i'm gonna measure literally just the, the band of the hat it's a little hard I'm going to was here to help. All right, this is what I'm going to do, actually, because I ain't got nobody here to help me. So I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin one side. You got a thing outside the box, you know? Take a couple of bobby pins because I, it's hard for me to um, hold it because it keeps moving. So we're going to take a couple of bobby pins and we're going to get the circumference. I told you, sis, I got you. What YouTuber you not doing all of this? They going to just tell you a medium if your head look like mine. What? <laughs> I got you, I got you. I'm gonna do this off camera and come back. I'm back. So I done put it in there. I couldn't get the, because of the brim, but I made sure to make it as flush as possible. So if you see it's lumpy in the front, that's fine. So it's given about 22. So you see the tape starts there. It's given about 22. All right, y'all. So it wasn't sitting with me how I measured it. I did go out and get a better tape measure so the consistency is better than the last one with paper. And I found these little pins. So as you see, we started it on this side. All this is flushed. As I said before, you can't clamp it because of the brim, but I made sure to have it flush and it does measure to about 22 and a, almost I'll say 22 and a half, okay? So that is the circumference of the head. But then remember too, it does give a little bit. This is not completely structured, okay? All right, so I just thought I would do that because you know me. If you know me, I like to make sure my stuff is accurate because y'all come in here to look for the video for a reason. So it's almost at 22 and a half. Okay? 22 and a half. Now let's get back into the video. So I'm going to measure my head too. My head is like a, like a 22 and a half. My head is like a 22 and a half. If your head is around there, you should be fine. And I'll show you it again. If I really wanted to, I could put it all the way down. All the way down. Okay, if I wanted to, but of course we wouldn't. Know. Okay, so more of the story is I think if your head is like between the 22 and the 23, around that range, my head is about a 22 and a half. If you have anything higher than a 23, if your your head with your weave, your wig, whatever measures higher than the 23, I'm gonna suggest you go that large. Like I stated, we just have the black wool, we have the X red, the RB red, the dot because it's the bad bit hat. Period. You got a patent leather brim. The inside just gives you the tag as well as the size medium. And yes, I'm living for it. I love it. I love it. What do y'all think? So yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a vibe. And I'm telling you, with the right outfit, clearly not with this. Uh, I Honestly, a nice trench coat over this. It's a look. It's a look. It's a look. It's a look. I'm here for this hat. All right? We here for it. If you're thinking about getting the hat, you a baddie. You need one in your collection. You need a bad hat. Trust me. It's an essential, it's a must have. They'll add the right type of flair to the right type of outfit. When you need a little oomph in the outfit, never be afraid to accessorize. Accessories can really make your outfit way more lit. I'm gonna just leave this hot one to end this video. I wanna thank y'all so much for coming to kick it with me today. Thank you for returning. Thank you for being new. Thank you for subscribing because I hope you already did it at this point. Do it, do it, do it. Do it right now. We on the road to 2K. Run it up, run it up, run it up. As always guys, see y'all in my next video. Such thing as a life that's better than your love. Such thing as a life that's better than your love. No such thing.